I started dancing at the age of five and it was simply because my mum wanted to put me into school while she went and did her supermarket shopping. She didn't want my brother and I traipsing along around the store with her. What she didn't know is that I was going to fall desperately in love with ballroom dancing. I come alive once I'm dancing. I hear that music, I see my partner, and my gosh, I just want to get up and boogie. It's one of the greatest experiences ever, and I'm so grateful to be from the world of dance. My hearing difficulties stemmed back a very long time ago to when I was about five years old. I began to get a lot of abscesses in my ear. My mum constantly taking me to the doctors and really not getting the response from the doctors that my mum wanted. She had to keep persisting, keep pushing. Over the years, these abscesses continued to the point that I was sat there at dinner with my family one night and my ear just began to bleed. My father picked me up and rushed me straight to hospital. They said at the time they would just fit a grommet into my ear. When I went down to theatre, they tried to go in through the ear, but the ear had deformed because I had a disease in there which was eating away my ear, called a mastoid clostotoma. I came out of surgery four hours later, disorientated, not aware where I was, my head fully bandaged, drips and everything hanging out of my arms. This was meant to be a simple ear operation, but for a child at my age, it was very, very traumatic. But it was down to my husband who basically said, if you don't sort your hearing out, we are gonna to come to blows. So it was a point of family life that actually pushed me to trialing this lyric. Well, I have to tell you, I have never looked back. It's the most incredible thing. I have a hearing device that no one can see. I can't even feel it. I'm just, it, I'm just in disbelief. I'm still in disbelief. I go to bed at night, the hearing device is in there. I can hear if my son has any upset in the middle of the night. I wake up and I shower, I get ready. I don't have to take anything in or out or plug it in or be worried about it. It is just permanently in my ear, doing its job, aiding me in helping to hear. I do remember the moment my audiologist put the device in my ear and he'd switched it on. And well, I actually near enough burst into tears because the, the sounds that I could hear, the small sounds around the room were incredible. I didn't think it was possible. I had had hearing loss for so long. I just genuinely thought it was a joke that they could actually help me hear better. I remember walking out and calling everybody. I could even use my phone on my damaged ear. I was, okay, I've got to try. Hang on one second. Yes, I can use my mobile phone on both my ears. Normally, I can only use it on one, and then I can't hear what anybody else is saying to me. This was brilliant. I'm walking along on a busy street in London. I've got my phone on either ear I wanted, and I could still hear the hustle and bustle of London life. I could hear workmen up the scaffolding. I, I could hear buzzes and beeps. It really was amazing. It did take a little bit of time to get used to. I must say, I think I was walking around a little bit with open eyes and strange features. I don't know what people thought. I went down on the underground and I could hear, I felt like I was eavesdropping on everybody's conversation because I could hear people next to me in a couple of seats away. And what were they saying? Hey, that's Karen from Strictly Come Dancing. Oh my God, it was so funny. I couldn't control myself because I'm trying not to giggle because I could actually hear what people were whispering about me. No matter what your disabilities are, no matter how much work pressures you've got, everybody can take a moment out of their life to have fun on the dance floor. But as I said once on Strictly Come Dancing, my dream is if I could teach the world to dance. And I think I'm a long way 